Today, I want to talk about one of the biggest mistakes offers make inside of CSGO. And it's something I've covered in the past, but I want to revisit this topic because I think it's so important that you guys understand this and know what to avoid when you're opping in the game. Now, as you guys know, us oppers, we have a lot of ego because we're using the one shot gun. We can hit a lot of highlight clips and get away with a lot of stuff that riflers may not be able to because our gun just instantly kills, right? Now, with that being said, there's some things we need to avoid when using this gun and some bad habits we have to break if we ever want to play at a high level inside of CSGO. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers on this channel. It's been amazing the growth we've seen these past months and I just wanted to thank you guys so much. I am so appreciative of it and it just makes me so happy to see all the progress we're making on YouTube and I'm happy that you guys are learning from my videos and you know becoming better fighters through throughout our journey. So thank you guys so much and let's get into the video. So what are we going to avoid when we're opping? What, what do we need to not do? What is Kojo talking about, right? So what I think I notice when I watch oppers and in my own play, something that people have told me and something I'm trying to actively get better and better at is, guys, when we're holding an angle, say we're holding mid here, and we get a kill, we miss our shot, whatever. Guys, stop re-peeking. Stop over-peeking and re-peeking into these angles that we have already fought. Because you know what? Especially if you miss. Oh, I know it's so hard. I know when we miss a shot, the first reaction we want to do is just re-peek right away and, and kill that guy that we missed. But guys, you are playing so bad when you do that. If there is a good player, if you miss, he's going to reposition and instantly kill you so easily. And you're going to look like a noob. Trust me. I, I've looked like a noob so many times when I'm I'm holding your arch. Oh, I missed the guy. And I'm like, I got this. I got this. I re-peek. And then there's now an opera posted right here. And I, I just give up a free kill. It is the worst thing you can do as an opera. And don't get me wrong, guys. There is a time and place to repeak. There a hundred percent is. I'm not saying not to repeak. A lot of times, what I do when I'm like Arshite here, I get a kill. I'm jiggling like this, and then I saw nothing's there, so I can repost on the angle, right? If I'm jiggling when I'm reloading, when I'm jiggling, if I don't see, it, if I see someone peek, then I fall back. You know what I mean? So there's smart ways to repeak, and also in this video, I want to teach you how to repeak, how we're gonna effectively do it, other than just the the jiggle method I just talked about. So. Why is re-peaking so bad? Like I said, they're going to kill you, right? They're, they're going to trade you out. Good players are not going to let you get away with re-peaking into the same angle you just posted, right? What good oppers do is, you know, if, they, if they're here in halls, they get a kill. You know, they're out of here. They're like, they're like, screw that. They're out of here. They're posting up on arch side now because the other team at a high level is like, oh, the oppers halls? We need to smoke lane and run up arch side because now arch has no opper. But boom, you're already sitting here moto holding an angle ready for them to come in. So like that, that's why repeaking is so bad, right? That's why, because at a high level, they're going to start trying to outthink you as an opper and try to avoid you and try to push you into retaking constantly. Because think about it, if you're an opper and they're coming into you, it is so much easier than you peeking into angles where they already have. If they have established arch control and you're peeking in here without a flash, then it's so much harder for you to get a kill. And you don't know if an opper's posted, there could be two rifles ready to just trade you out. Like It is so much harder in CSGO to be an opper that's retaking instead of holding a position. So keep this in mind when you're using the gun that you have the best gun in the game, right? Like It's a one-shot kill. So use it effectively and make sure that you're actually like... Uh, finding impact with it versus running in and dying for no reason because you know there's already a guy posted on the angle you're trying to fight that that's the worst way to op in this game like uh, i mean there's players that are good at it but like that's the worst way to op guys so how are we going to repeak right there's gonna be times where we want to repeak now what we can do is obviously like i said we can jiggle but one thing that is even better than that is having a teammate ready to support you i want to repeat arch they throw a flash, boom, you re-peek. Because now this guy that's posted here, when you're when you're re-peeking, is going to get blinded. Even if it's not the best. Like, at least you're throwing something, right? But what I want to point out is, like, if we're, if we're re-peeking, you can flash for yourself, too. Like, throw anything to disrupt the other team and then re-peek. That's better than just straight up, like... Sitting here and Ferrari peeking them like you're a, you're you're some luxury sports car owner and you're you're driving a race car. So <laughs> trust me, guys, from experience, I know that it's super hard to do this, and I can sit here and tell you all this. But if you watch me play in these events and matches, I'm probably still going to repeak. And there is a fine balance on knowing when it might be okay to repeak and when you can get away with it, and when the other team is just going to shut you down. You know, I'm gonna play a lot differently if I'm playing a team like Complexity 
versus uh you know like if we're in a qualifier and we're playing an open or im team i'm gonna repeak against those guys because they can't punish it right like they they can't shut it down so it actually in a way it, it becomes trolled not to right but find that balance at your level just like complexity when complexity is playing us halzerk might be just swinging and swinging and swinging because he knows we might not be able to trade him as easily so there's just a fine line in knowing your opponent and knowing what you can get away with and in writing that line as closely as you can because you don't want to be predictable right like like i just mentioned earlier you don't want to be predictable and oh we're sitting here our side boom get a kill you know fall back i do this all the time like i do this like little line where we fall back after we shoot but if the other team starts to realize what you're doing then they can start preemptively throwing you till the purposely countered that exact play because they know you're doing it so there's a fine line between being predictable and you know thinking outside the box you need to find that line and find when it's useful to repeak and when it's not but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video you guys are awesome thank you so much for the support if you want to help me out go check out my tiktok and all of my socials down below also guys join my discord we are growing our discord and i will be there to answer personal questions you guys have you can hang out with my community and you will never miss any bounties and giveaways we are doing for 2000 subscribers we are going to do some giveaways and bounties and the only way you're going to find out about them is through that discord so make sure you join go ahead and talk to me message me have a good time with me and I'll catch you guys later. So thank you so much for watching this video. Peace out. You guys are awesome. Let's make this year the best one yet.